Thank you, mate. Cheers. And next one on us, yeah? But The next thing's on us. Okay, thank you. Yo, welcome to day two of my travel vlog series. Uh, I've just woken up and had a shower. Um, well, technically I woke up fucking seven hours ago. 3.28 a.m. Bang, wide awake. Went to sleep last night at like 10 o'clock after I went to the bar and had a bit of a walk around with someone and then, yeah, woke up at 3 a.m. I guess jet lag and I was wide awake. Stayed up for like two hours and managed to get back to sleep. And I've just woken up, it's 10 a.m. now. I did record a video when I woke up and thought that was going to be the start of my day, but yeah, luckily fell asleep and ended up getting a good amount of sleep because I barely slept on the plane. Today, I don't really have any plans, so let's just wing it. I'm going to go start off with a full English breakfast. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Hey, I'm walking to a cafe now. I've just Googled a place, but I've walked past KFC and fuck that looks good. I can't wait to get that later. So I'll probably be trying out shit on the KFC menu today at least like if nothing else that's what I'll be getting hopefully I don't get fucking run over and I've been told to keep an eye on uh, people stealing phones out of my hand so I've got to make sure to snatch it back I'm at River Cafe in Hutney Bridge um, and this is my first ever English breakfast Mushrooms, sausage, tomatoes, bacon, hash brown egg. Get some toast. Let's start with the sausage. Definitely a sausage. Um, I don't know what I'm doing a food review on YouTube, but <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give the sausage a 7.3. That's actually not bad. Um, let's go with some mushrooms next. Mushroom. Lacks a little bit of flavour. Needs some salt and pepper, which I don't have on my table, but uh, we'll, go, we'll go six and a half. A little bit of bacon. It tastes different than the Australian pigs. I don't know why, but it's almost fattier. Um, seven one. Tomatoes. Seven eight. Now this is what we want: some English beans. Beans. Yeah, it just tastes like some high baked beans, which is good. I like. I like it. Um, eight one. Hash. A little bit of hashy. Six six. A little bit of egg. Ain't yeah, not bad. 6.5. Alright, now time to eat this properly. Wow. Well, my first English breakfast was a success. It was pretty good. Um, I'm going to jump on the train now and head into London, I think. I ended up jumping on the train and heading into London. Um, this is the Tower of London, from what I've been told and what I've seen on the Google Maps, so I couldn't tell you what it is. I'm not a, not a big history buff, so I don't really know much about where I am or what I'm doing here. But I just thought, fuck it, today I'm just gonna be a tourist, walk around with a GoPro on my hand, let everyone look at me like I'm an idiot. But all good. We'll, uh, we'll walk around, we'll see some sights, cross a few things off my list of things to do. I'll be a little tourist. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Now, I could actually do a tour of these places, but I feel different. I don't really do that sort of stuff. I know while I'm here, I probably should, but for some reason, every time I go traveling, I never do the touristy stuff. I just sort of like to live in an area and pretend like I live there and just sort of show myself around without getting too invested in everything. But Behind me, I'm pretty sure, is the same place that I showed you before, and here is Tower Bridge as well. Quick little thumbnail stop. <laughs> Tower Bridge behind me. I'm assuming this is typical London weather because it just started raining. Yesterday was like 20 degrees, perfect weather, and now the one day I'm actually walking around trying to explore. When I say the one day, I mean, <laughs> I literally just got here not even 24 hours ago. But it's starting to rain now, and this is definitely the typical gloomy London weather. I 
just walking through Hayes Garden right now. I don't even know if this is a tourist attraction, but it's a pretty cool spot. Um, lots of little cafes, restaurants and stuff, so it's good to actually get out and explore and figure out where I want to take some dates if I, <laughs> if I can manage to get a few. Um, if you are one of the dates that I end up taking out, you've gone back in these videos and you see this, um, forget about it. Forget that you saw this. I want to go up on the Shard, that building you just saw, I want to see the top of it because I think it's like the tallest building in all of London. Um, but it's not open for viewing for another couple of hours. I'm not sure I want to just wait around here in the rain until I get it. So I'll keep exploring elsewhere and I might come back to this either later today or another day while I'm here. Right, well I've decided to go to a rooftop bar, London Bridge Bar Rooftop. London Bridge Rooftop Bar. So I'm heading up there now. Get a little bit of the feed, see how we get. I'm at the London Bridge rooftop bar, obviously London Bridge area, London area. I don't really know the full geography of the place, but I guess it kind of pays to be a influencer on social media because the guy saw me with a GoPro and he goes, oh, you have a channel? And I was like, yeah, just like TikTok, Instagram and YouTube and stuff. Uh, just doing a bit of daily vlog and shit. Thank you, mate. Cheers. And next one on us. Yep. But The next thing's on us. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So, yeah, he was like, oh, if you want to do a few Instagram stories or chuck a TikTok video up, we'll, we'll hook you up with some free drinks and food. So, I mean, I guess, welcome to London. This mimosa is fucking good. I feel like this would be a really good place to come on like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. So if I do manage to get a date, this is one of the places I'm probably going to come. Because the drinks are good, the food yet to be determined, but I'm sure the food was good, it looks good. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice, nice big venue. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a vibe. I feel like on a nice warm night, this should be perfect. Yeah, yeah, Melbourne. How are you feeling in London? I mean, I haven't done much, I've only, I just got the tube in um, this morning. I think my food's coming now. Thank you, mate. Like, yesterday, this was this busy yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday was a good yesterday day. Yesterday was mad. Yeah, that no, was a good day. Hopefully the weather picks up a little bit, but it's very similar to Melbourne at the moment, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like I haven't even left. So can I get you anything else? Um, just another mimosa if possible. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, mate. So let me know what you're gonna post this. If you do, like, tag us up, I'll share it with you. Uh, what's your um, handle? I don't have business cards or anything. Oh, okay, no, it's easy. Good, yeah. <laughs> just, oh, nice. I'll check it out. Right? Just a sticker, but yeah, that's pretty much the same on. Oh, nice all one. Of them, but thanks, well, mate. Cheers. Right, enjoy, mate. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Let me grab this TikTok. Oh, this was a good idea carrying these stickers around. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. But the uh, yeah, like the TikTok and Instagram and all that's the same. But you got it. All right. So I've got the burger now. Um, you can see here, chicken burger. Got the sesame seed bun, some gherkins, chicken, aioli, lettuce, and cheese. Let's go. Have a good burger. Cheers. Oh my god, I'm so full. I forgot that I had breakfast only like two hours ago and it was like a full English breakfast. Obviously, you guys saw that in this video, but that burger has made me super full. I was going to explore a little bit more here while I'm in London today, um, but I'm going to go to. Um, Buffalo Cricket to get some stuff at 3 o'clock I need to be there by and it's 1 o'clock now so I'm just going to walk across, get the train back to Putney where I'm staying and I think he's a little bit further south so I'll go catch up with him and see how we go but I've got to finish my second mimosa at the place. Walking across London Bridge at the moment is fucking not pissing down rain, but it's not. It's raining a fair bit, drizzly stuff. There was a dude walking past in a suit wearing his umbrella, and he was like walking at the exact same pace as me. And I looked at him, we made eye contact, and I said, I go, mate, pretty shit day, isn't it? And he just looked at me and gave me nothing. And then I go, fuck, I only just arrived, mate. I thought it was summer. And then he goes, Haha, yeah, true. And then he just walked off, but rude. Red.
but I'm in Kingston right now. I've just gone to my first Sainsbury's, which is essentially like a Coles and a Woolworths over here. Uh, picked up a few snacks just to eat when I get home. But the reason I'm in Kingston is because I'm going to see the bro at Buffalo Cricket. I'll put his Instagram up here. I'm going to go see him and get sorted out with some cricket gear so I can play over here. If the weather clears up at all, it's been raining literally all day. Not, not super impressed by it, but hopefully by the weekend we're clear. Um, and it's not going to rain so I can actually get a couple of games in that'd be perfect but for now let's at least go and get some kit and while I'm over here I will be getting a tattoo at some stage uh, probably just something small but every time I go international I like to get a little tattoo as a reminder of that trip so that'll be in another vlog I'm looking for this cricket place, I don't know exactly where it is, so I'm just gonna have to hang out and hope that he comes out here. I just finished up at Buffalo Cricket, got myself a bag, some pads, and some gloves as well, so I'll showcase that in the next cricket match I play. Um, this is their office right here. I'll put their address and the Buffalo Cricket Instagram on here as well if you want if anyone wants to come down and get some stuff. Uh, nice guy. Good good store. <laughs> it was good. I appreciate them. Thanks for thanks for hooking me up. I just got back to the room. Um, I think it's only about 4.30, 5pm now, but big day. It's been raining all day, so I'm absolutely drenched. I'm gonna just get all this off, jump in the shower. I know I said I was gonna get KFC, but I walked past a Chipotle, and I'm a big American sports guy, YouTuber, so a lot of people eat Chipotle, and I've always wanted to try it. So I'm not gonna get KFC today, because I've had lots of KFC in the past. I will get it eventually. But I am going to finish off this vlog with a Chipotle dinner, a little bit. So let's just, Let's just fast forward straight to the Chipotle. Big boy. Look at this absolute beast. It's like the size of my fucking head. Good shit. Oh my god, I'm a Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Just finished my dinner at Chipotle. It was alright. First few bites I was like, fuck yeah, this is sick, but as it got on, I was kind of a bit over it. It was a bit, it was a bit much, but pretty good. We're going to end this vlog on a high. Make sure to sub, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh.